I don't normally smoke. This job has been such a harrowing experience. On this job I'm removing a gas boiler and I'm installing an air source heat pump. I'm doing this installation as a subcontractor for a uh, large air source installation company. I'm expected to install an external unit in the garden under the window, replace existing boiler with what is called a hydro box and connect it to existing pipework and reconnect it to existing cylinder. A plan that could never work. An omission if you will on the part of the design team that will make this job unnecessarily double the size in material and labor cost in no time. Probably the last gas boiler at this property. Flue is totally corroded. No wonder it wasn't working. Flue has been fixed, I guess quite neatly. And what we've done as well, we've put the pipe work in all the way up to the top. The continuation of, of working for this company, subcontracting for them is not going really well because the heat pump and the hydro box has not arrived so and we've waited we did what we could and we've waited for the heat pump and hydro box and it never arrived at three o'clock they told us it's gonna be tomorrow we were promised delivery of equipment by 9 a.m next day it finally arrived around midday on tuesday i also got a call from the boss of the company to reassure me that he would make it up to me in one way or the other. One of those vague statements of intent that you instantly sense has very little chances of ever materializing. Nevertheless, we could now crack on with the job. Over the next two days, I managed to install all the equipment and run all of the pipework. Original design had what is called a hydro box installed on the ground floor. However, that design wasn't possible and to make a heat pump work on this job, I had to run pipework three stories up and into the loft and install all internal equipment, a hydro box and a buffer in the loft. A much more difficult and much more awkward job than originally specified by the main contractor. Space is so hard to work in. It's just super awkward. It was supposed to start on Monday, finish on Wednesday, but the kit wasn't delivered to Tuesday midday. That's what happens when you're the main guy on site and you have to rely on other people. So my main reason for taking this job was to learn about heat pumps however right now it's a lesson lesson in patience with the plumbing completed it was time to help the electrician with the wiring as there was still loads to do so we're running all this wiring all the way across the building all the way down to the unit and then up all the way there to the loft yeah, it's not, not bad weather, but I'm quite high. And look, it's still... I'm still four meters from the top, maybe three and a half. Another crisis, I couldn't get the wiring from a ladder. It was too dangerous, so I'm in a rental shop now. And that's all the gear I need to safely install the wiring. It's coming from the main contractor. Help us pull those wires up. It's my electrician. Is it's a bit older. I don't think he can jump on the loft easily to do the wiring. Cables up there. Peter's happy. Are you happy, Peter? I'm happy. Oh, he doesn't look happy. But I think he is. <laughs> so the toughest part of the job done. Amazing. So I have to take all those three wires and run them to that unit there. Yeah, lovely. I'll make it tight, tidy with a tape in a sack pack. No, I wouldn't. I'll just leave it. You sure? Yeah. No, it looks straight. It needs to be tidy. Someone one day might crawl into this corner and we'll go. Okay. Electrician was a f. Okay. All so right. We'll make it tidy because yeah. you know you'll sign it and they will know. Oh, I was Peter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm turning it on. Yeah. 
it's loads of error this system will take a while to feel you get 1.5 bar pressure on the system no leaks anywhere at least a success here it's two o'clock electrician still has about a day's work left i'll try to help him if i help him maybe we'll get it wired and fired up today maybe see that thing dripping because the unit's not yet on and it's zero degrees the antifreeze valve activated and it's leaking water we did not manage to finish the wiring on friday partly due to the fact uh, we did not have correct information supplied to us also due to the fact that access to the wiring was well somewhat difficult to avoid any further delay, the main contractor kindly agreed to send their electrician to check over our wiring and to send a plumber to help us commission the system. Although it was all finished, uh, it was just a safety, just in case something went wrong on the commissioning day. On Tuesday morning, an engineer from the main contractor turned up to show me how to commission the system. Just watch this and try not to cry. Yes, sir. Control, it's still going to fail, it's not going to be better. Honeywell Wireless, it's not here at the way, so it's a third party. So that's what? So it's quick mode, we're going to take that and put that on fixed. What does that mean? Uh, well, you can do it with the weather dependent, but you don't actually want it to do that if you just keep it to fix. You, know, you, you, you ignore what the composition? Uh, yeah, so basically if you just play a fix it will it So will it fire some maximum rate all the time? It won't it won't vary about it, it'll just stick with the same. Is it a um, weather control? I, I think we've put it on that before and it's caused um, a bit of a, a bit of an issue. What you have just witnessed is someone disabling the most important feature on your heat pump, weather compensation. Because without weather compensation, you lose a lot of efficiency. The reason why they disable weather compensation is the fact that they don't want to have callbacks if the weather compensation is not set correctly. I actually raised that issue with the management of the company and to my horror I was told that this is the company policy to disable weather compensation on all the units they install. I honestly couldn't believe it and they said they were told that by the manufacturers of the equipment. At this stage and the faith I had left in this company has completely evaporated. So the system's vented and yeah we're turning the heating on for the first time now the pipe probably is nice and warm and the pump is running so we've got this breeze coming out from it you can see it moves all the uh, plants in the garden even there so the job is done it took much longer than it should have been partly because of the fact that it's my first job but also the specification was really really lucky wiring wouldn't be possible with that specification unless you've done it before and if you've done it before you might not even need it made absolutely no money i might actually have lost something i don't know yet i don't I'm scared to check the question that every single person from the company i was subcontracting for i've been subcontracting for was you wouldn't work for us again would you i don't think they would would i yeah!